Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I am your host, the Software Engineer Geek, and on this show we're going to be talking about converting and going back in time with Get. So sit back and let the knowledge flow in because SE Geek begins now. Okay, in this video we're going to be doing a lot with uh, reverting and going back. You can think of this as the undo episode. Um, so pro previously in another video I showed you uh, get reset. So you know just going from get K with our little test repo, repo if you go to any of these particular um, commits you could right click and say reset uh, the master branch here or whatever branch you're on. The problem with this is if you actually have already pushed this out to uh, a public repo, you get in tr you could get into trouble with merge conflicts and stuff like that. So generally you don't want to do that. So you have some other options. Uh, one of those other options is to do what's called a get revert, which will actually revert a commit. Um, so we're going to take this commit right here, and we're going to do a revert on that. And I'm going to show you a couple things before we go too far into it, but I'll just do a get revert here, do a dash H just for you know the usage. And there's there's some uh, options you have here. These are you know the main options. Dash N, which I I use I I actually always use, uh, which allows you to uh, not do the revert automatically which means usually by default when you do a get revert what it does is it undoes it, it makes an undo commit or wait a minute it makes a commit of the reverse of that commit so and it automatically commits it but uh, if you don't want to do that which you know a lot of times you want to see what it's actually going to do like the revert before you commit it you do the dash n uh, the dash E allows you to actually edit that commit before it actually commits it. Um, and uh, dash M is actually for uh, if you're reverting a merge commit. So this is actually a special one. And let's go back to get K for a second to talk about this. So with merges, uh, as I've, I don't know if I mentioned, I remember if I mentioned this before, but Merge commits actually have two parents, which actually you know makes sense. There are two branches that are coming in together, so they have two parents. Uh, the first one is the one that came from the branch that you're on. So we're on master. This branch, which would come here, if I click here, this is from master originally. Now, if I go back to that commit, go to the other parent, it comes from here, which came from test two. So those are the two the two parents of this uh, commit. And the way they did it with the get revert is this one is considered one, and this one is considered two. I don't know why, but that's what they decided to go with. So here, if you wanted to do a dash m you could do one to revert it to the master branch's state or two to revert it to the test two's um, state. So that, that allow you to actually do a revert of a merge commit. Uh, I would say try to avoid having to do that just because it's one of those things that every time I've done it, I have to just think about it. It's like, all right, how do I do this again? And usually I look, end up looking it up. But anyways, let's move on and actually un, uh, revert that other commit that we picked off. So we'll do a get revert dash n. And actually, I have the commit because I lost it from... Clipboard here. Come on. Okay. So we'll do that. And then we'll do a get status. 
Oops. Actually, just do get st. And we see that we have one file changed. So if we do get GUI, take a look at that. We see we have our commit, which has been, we have like the reverse of that, which, you know, takes away for, and we actually get a commit message, which is, you know, a good start for a commit message. It, you know, has the subject that we revert, that we reverted missing for, and that this reverts this particular commit. Uh, you might want to add on here why you're actually reverting this commit. Um, you know, going along with the good commit messages uh, video that I did previous to this. So that's one way that you can undo a commit or go back in time. So go back here, and we're not actually going to commit that, but if you did, you know, you'd have the reverse, obviously. So, but we're going to do a get reset dash dash hard to actually go back in time to revert the uh, outstanding changes that we have. And we'll just clear and do a get status again. Obviously, nothing to commit. So let's actually uh, go back to our Git repository. So another thing that you can do is uh, I've shown you, you know, th this can be a little confusing, uh, but when you check out a branch, you it, you actually change branches to that branch. But you can also use checkout to actually check out a file. And when you check out a file, it actually checks out um, the file at that revision. It gives you the difference of, uh, you know, it, it gives you what that file would be at, you know, the difference at that point in time. So if I wanted to, say, go back in time to uh, what test 2 would be like right at this commit, so it would be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, what we'll do is we'll copy that, Shaw, so that we Make sure we have it, and we'll do a get checkout. The sh oops, Shaw, and the file name, which was test two. Not txt. Hit enter. We'll do a get yes I'll do actually let's not do get status let's do a um, just a cat on test dot uh, test two dot see what it says so here we have one two three four five six seven eight so let's do a get uh, get GUI make sure what it actually did. So to get back to that point in time, uh, we added one and we got rid of the 910, this garbly gook, and basically this gets us back to that point in time. So, and it actually gave us a particular commit message as well. Actually, I hadn't seen that before. Get check out. Hmm. Fair enough. So let actually let's do get check out dash h. So obviously a whole bunch of uh, you know options here as well. I I've actually haven't used these too much. Um, you know obviously we've shown dash b to create you know a new branch and you know check it out immediately. Um, and most of these aren't things I'd use too much. Actually, this this shows it more in the the context of a branch. But you know, as you saw, we can check out a particular file, um, and, and just revert like that file for you know that commit. Uh, let's see. So I showed you reset. Showed you re revert. 
and check out and that's pretty much it so let me just check the my notes see if there's anything else I wanted to show you soft hard check out file name vert not really so what I can do is if I do actually get st if I do a get reset that actually unstages so get status so that's uh, another thing that you can do if you want to unstage something uh, from the command line is do a get reset rather than a get reset dash dash hard um, that's kind of like a soft reset uh, that's pretty much it for now